I'm going to show you. This is for the owner of the machine. This is a brief synopsis of all the things I did to the front of the engine over the last week and why. You know there was an oil leak and then there was a water leak from the water pump into the engine crankcase. The water pump had no paper or cork gasket on it. So the water was coming out of this housing jacket into this bolt hole and that bolt hole and going into the crankcase because the bolts go into the crankcase. So the oil was not only was the oil leaking out which you can see this is caked on several years and it was power washed and okay so the oil was leaking out of the bolt hole but eventually the bolt that had no it had no form of gasket on the bolt Eventually, the water was walking around the bolt and going into the motor through this bolt and this bolt, these two bolts, one, two. In order to get this off, there was a connecting hose. I had to take this bell housing off. The return flow to the water, this was also leaking out of this bell housing right here you could see it coming down the side of the block this is so pitted I hope I'm going to be able to save this by filling up that hole with form gasket when I put the new hose on this hose has to be replaced and the hose from here has to be replaced I'll show you that in a minute so basically the grease was coming out of there and then the grease went into the alternator and the alternator it didn't go on fire but the grease made it so hot it melted the armature somehow it shorted out the uh, stator so we're going to go down in here there also another problem is the chassis that the radiator sat on is so thin that when I stand on it, it should be one eighth of an inch of metal like this. Like this. One eighth of an inch, it should be all the way down, down around the bottom, but there's nothing left of the metal. So I'm going to have to. <clears throat> Rebuild it. Ah, shit. I just fell down. Ah. Ah. How much damage did I do to my head? Ah. Wow. That hurt. to my head I'm not feeling the blood okay so this bell housing here water was going down through here this gasket was also there's nothing left it's just dust these two bolts the head snapped off and I had to beat the beat this bell housing out which I did. I fell. I'm okay. Okay, so this metal bracket here, this channel, 
is paper thin. So in, in this channel that you can see is completely worn out, I'm gonna take two and a half by two and a half inch angle steel, put it into the channel that my foot is in, weld the strap on either end, and put the rubber boot that the radiator sits on. The boot is still relatively okay. This area here is where the oil was leaking out. You could see it's wet oil wet here so the water was leaking out of these two bolts where you could see the former gasket is black and then the water was leaking into the engine through the thread chase of the bolt and this has been getting oil on it for years and years you could see I power wash this, but it's still got an eighth of an inch of grease where I couldn't get the power washer while it was there. So now I'm gonna polish this plate, sand it, scrape it, sand it, and polish it. And I'll have a good surface for the back of the water pump housing, which is starting to corrode which is the problem well the, the 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 problem is they didn't put a paper or a cork gasket on here they just used former gasket that's the problem they probably couldn't get the gasket and they probably didn't know how to make a gasket and I, i'll make one out of a piece of industrial cardboard so we have to remove these bolts scrape sand and polish this resurface this with a, a flat mill file and polish this make a gasket for that resurface this down about fifteen hundredths of an inch fifteen thousandths of an inch and get that get that that oxidized bell oxidized aluminum bring it back down to raw metal and this is pitted pretty good where my finger is. That's pitted down in almost an eighth of an inch. I'll clean that up and fill that with a former gasket when I put the hose back on. Permatex. Daisy has been my instrumental in helping me with getting tools that I forgot. And then Daisy will also work on cleaning up the parts. Okay, is there anything else? This muffler, I'm going to get a pipe and put it over this so, and with a, like a 45 down so the weather doesn't get in here. This valve is solid locked shut because the water was leaking out of this bell housing they use water instead of antifreeze which is why the inside and outside of these fittings and the bell is so deteriorated they use straight water since the man brought the machine here could be going on for could could i don't know how many years i wouldn't take a guess at that so that pretty much sums up everything we're doing we also have the alternator apart, but I noticed that the uh, armature is melted. The uh, uh, the gliptol, it's called gliptol. It's like a varnish. The varnish is melted. I don't know if if the windings are still intact. I'm not sure if the diodes are still intact. I did check for a price for that. We're talking. Uh, Minimum price for the alternator for this machine is $550 plus shipping, which would be about another $100 to the Philippines from America. I don't know what it would be in Manila, but we're looking at $650 to replace the alternator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the alternator back together. 
I'm going to put new brushes in it. I have some brushes that I can make work in the alternator. I'm going to clean up. I cleaned up the uh, commutator and the stator. We're going to degrease that in a little while. I'll clean that up. I polished the commutator, the armature, clean everything up, put it together. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't work, replacing it is probably not cost effective. And what I'll do is I'll just get keep the batteries charged and not use the lights on the machine at night because there are no lights on the machine at night because there are no lights the bulbs are burnt out so Daisy you want to say anything this is what's left of the gasket from this bell housing this was inside the housing like that inside you want to say anything I think well a lot I have nothing to say. Uh, uh, yeah, I can say that you're the best. Who? Uh, Michael Fazio. Ah, oh, salamat. Mm. Okay, that's it. This is where we're working. We have a terrible 80 degree day in the Philippines, January 4th, 2018. A terrible place to work. And I just want to let you know those waves over there at night. We open the window and Daisy and I can hear the waves crashing on the beach. That's right. That's right.